Hey, what's going on guys? Aloha, Coach DT here from Maui, Hawaii. I'm excited to bring you guys this week's Monday's Mindset, but first, we're gonna stop and let Coach BT ask you a quick question. So ears open, check it out. I wanna ask you a question today. What kind of a teammate are you? Are you selfish? Is it all about me, 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 instead of team, team, team? Hello, Dynamic Training family and friends. Hope you had a great weekend. Today's building block is the word team spirit. Listen to what Coach John Wooden has to say about that word. He says, I once heard team spirit defined as a willingness to lose oneself in the team for the good of the team. I used that definition for a long time, but always thought it fell short. We've all heard this concept before, right? Team first, me second, uh, put the we first. There's no I in team, right? We've heard it over and over and over again. So why is it so hard for us to grasp in a team environment, in a workplace environment, in a family environment? Well, Coach BT is gonna break it down a little bit more. It took a while before I figured it out. He goes on to say, I changed willingness to eagerness. Willingness is more like, I will if I have to. Eagerness communicates an attitude, I'll be more than happy to sacrifice my personal fame and accomplishments for the good of the team. That's it right there, that's the point. Say it again, coach, for those in the back. I changed willingness to eagerness. Let me just tell you something, coaches aren't looking for players that have willingness. They're looking for players that are eager and passionate and enthusiastic about putting the team first. Wow, that excites me today. Listen to what Coach John Wooden goes on to say. Team spirit is a genuine consideration for others. It's an eagerness to sacrifice personal fame and glory for the welfare of all. Listen, family first, team first. What do you need to sacrifice to take your team from here to here? It's not my way, what is the best way? Now get ready, here comes Coach DT to break it down a little bit more. So whose responsibility is it? Whose responsibility is it to make sure that there is a culture at, with your team, at your job, whatever it is? It could be a workforce, it could be your house, or it could be your team. The culture that you create is the most important. So as a leader, right, it is on the leaders to create that team spirit. Team spirit doesn't just naturally happen. It's on you as a leader to create that team spirit. Coach Bill talks a great, does a great job talking about how put yourself, your own ego aside and look at what's important for the team, okay? So as a leader, make sure you create that positive culture, a culture that doesn't allow for negative criticism. Corrective criticism, if it helps the team, is important. But negative criticism, no gossip, no talking down to your teammates. Create an environment where you have a brotherhood, um, where you have a family environment at your workplace. It's up to you though, if you're the leader, you create the culture, create that team spirit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these Monday's mindsets, if you appreciate what me and Coach Bill are trying to provide for you guys, the value, the content, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, like the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more and more of this. Youth sports are back. March 12th, high school football kicks off. I know there wasn't a lot of preseason, there wasn't a ton of um, practice games to lead you into the seasons that are coming, but just remember if you put the team first, Everything else will take care of itself. All right, good luck to everybody. We'll see you soon. Much love.